Hi guys, hi everyone, Tanya here. Welcome to the channel. Today, I just wanna share with you some last minute Mother's Day ideas that you can easily pull together. You can find most of these items at Dollar Tree. And some of the things that I didn't get at the Dollar Tree, you can easily swap out. So first of all, this is a little, just a small little spa gift. And this, this container comes from Dollar Tree. And this flower here, that came from, ooh, my nails are bad. I just got back from a wedding and, and my nails, okay. So, and then this flower came from uh, Dollar General. I got a whole bouquet of them like last year. And all I did, I just put the, uh, put some tissue paper at the bottom here to give it some stability. And I used a journal here. And that journal says, walk by faith. Put that journal in the back to give it some more stability. Then we added a, an ink pen hand, in, a diamond head ink pen. I put that in there so that you can, the, the recipient can have something to write on, uh, write in the journal with. I think these came from uh, Walgreens. And then I love the bath salts. I love the, it's, it's, it's Peony Gardens scented bath salt and it has uh then we have a body butter here and then a beautiful candle you know so that's just a cute you know if you have um, an aunt mother-in-law someone on your team like, at work and you just want to show a little appreciation you know it's not like doing too much and then or if you're selling them, you have a gift basket stand or a booth. And then just, you could keep it like it was. You know, use some cello wrap, wrap it up. I'm not using it here because I have to preserve it. Like this is, I'm going to like sell these, these and these give these away, but I don't want to, you know, unnecessarily open up these packets. I only open them up when it's crunched, I mean, when it's time for them to go out. And I just put a little, put a little bow on there. That's my posh bow and a balloon. And, and you have everything. You have a balloon, you have a bow, flower, a reusable container. And it's cute. Okay, so that's our gift number one. I'm just gonna put that over there. Okay, and then let's see what are we going to do next. Okay. Now this one, this one is our slipper set. This is good, quick and easy. These wire baskets from Dollar Tree. Now, if you've ever gone into Burlington, Burlington has a gift set just like this. They have a, a slipper set in a wire basket. Nothing special. I mean, it's cute. They have nice packaging, but it all boils down to nice wire basket. They got these pink slippers from Dollar Tree. I like them. They're fine. I'm flat footed and uh, they're still comfy to me. They're soft on my feet. And then put some tissue paper in there to keep it you know, full. Here's the other one. Okay. So this is what I like to do. You know, find affordable containers that are good. And like this. And then now here's where you went. Th I went through more expense because I like good soaps and hand creams. So and these were good. This is a Victoria's Secret. So you mix the low with the high. Okay, so this is gonna be a foot care gift set. I'll be using that. This is Balance, the Victoria's Secret Pomegranate Lotus. Okay, put that in there. Okay. 
And then because it's foot care, then I added um, a Manny Petty set. There you go. You can put it in cello bag like this. You can cut it, you know, cut all that excess or use a cello roll. Can't see that that well. But here's the idea, and then you put a bow on it going to see if I can just find a, another bow. So then when you wrap it up, put a nice bow on top. And there is your slipper gift set. Okay. All right, that's number two. Okay, let's see what is our next one. Okay. Okay, our next one is a coffee with a side of brunch and the inspiration came from this cup i got that cup from dollar tree let's see if we can come around okay see this cup here it says coffee with a side of brunch so i put the cup in there and i'm using a market tray Okay, as a caterer, I use these a lot for snacks and you know sandwiches and stuff like that for my clients. Okay, so I've got a market tray. I lined it with I lined it with tissue and and uh, packing paper to make it strong. And this stuff has been and, and a lot of times I'll um, test things out. And this has been sitting here for a few days. It's never settled or anything. Okay, so then I use one of these in the back. Here's the backing, this chocolate. We got these during a, that was after Valentine's Day. These are still good to 2025. Got a long way to go on these. Okay, so. We've got coffee, and sometimes, I don't know if you guys are like me, you know, sometimes you want to eat, but you don't want to have to cook. So if you give someone a gift, and I've heard from several moms say, if you give me a food gift, I don't want to have to cook it. You know, just like, so, give stuff she can just eat. Like now I did, because I like this Harry and David coffee, I did include that. You will have to cook that. But you ha she has um, a Martinelli's cider. She won't have to cook. She can just you bring it to her in bed and she can just drink that or get one of those uh, like Starbucks, like coffees in the can. Okay, so we got coffee here. We got the summer sausage. We have cheese. We have this gourmet panettone, some mini vanilla panettone, you got that, and we have these little, little lady fingers, excuse me, they're really good, fine shortbread cookie with European dark chocolate, these are good, so this is bring that up higher, and then just pack everything in with some shred. Okay. 
wrap it up. Since we got a lot of yellow going on, I just went on, I'm going to put a yellow flower on there. Wrap it up. Really tight. Get some cello wrap. Put your bow on it. I store my concepts into these bags here until I'm sure that's what I want to do. Sometimes I'll add something, I'll change something, and then put your bow on top. And we are good. Okay. Okay, then we have another kind of food related. idea and this is the mamosa mom mosa okay so what we're going to do let's make sure that's so what we have here let me get my I use all Dollar Tree items to accessorize the mimosa. This is mango mimosa. I got that from Aldi. Good. This was a hit last year. And what I have here in the back, I used a, a frame, a picture frame. And then uh, we got a lemon, life, life, when life gives you lemon, I got the journal in there. See that? And then we have sunflower garden scented bath salt. So we got the bath salt. And then I have a shower puff. Beautiful little candle. Then we got the mimosa. And that was about $13. So I always have an expensive, and then also in the back here, we have a mango temptation body lotion. Victoria's Secret. So I like to have a couple of higher end items. Cons consider, you know, it's not Gucci, but um, it's still cute. It's good. So that's a higher end item as far as gift baskets are concerned. And then I have these mimosa glasses. These are plastic mimosa cups. When I did a, a brunch one time, we had a bunch of uh, these cups. And then I put some chocolates in there. flower. I think we're going to put the flower. I'm going to try 
try to put the flowers inside because they will once you like shrink wrap them you know they'll shrivel up so Tape everything together and then that's your mimosa mimosa get faster this came from Dollar Tree so as a gift basket designer like I have a Dollar Tree that's close to me close to my home they're always on trend they know who I am so I keep shopping there. They always, you know, they're on, they're in season. Everything I need to accessorize my baskets. You know, everything that I buy isn't a Dollar Tree item, but I accessorize some of my higher end stuff with those cute little, they're cute items and they're useful. Everything I, I put in my basket, the client can use afterwards. You know, they can always have a picture frame, a journal, you got the glassware, you got a candle. So we got that. Okay, so and then don't forget you wrap it up in one of these bags, put your bow on it, whatever color you choose. Okay, so we have that. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay, now my fifth and final gift basket is this is a Victoria's Secret. I use these trays here, wire trays from Dollar Tree. And then I just put some tissue in the bottom here. I use one of those Victoria's Secret cosmetic bags. These are so cute. They're glitter. They have a gold VS for Victoria's Secret there. And then I use everything, the Velvet Petals line. We use, we have a shower gel, body lotion, and a body mist. And then I accessorized it with a shower puff that I got from Dollar Tree in a rose color. And I like to get these because I don't have to put a flower in there. In there, there is a flower. So let me push this back. I got these at the Velvet Petals when the semi-annual sale. And then I had a birthday coupon and, you know, they give you some good, um, you know, good promotions. So catch, you know, catch these products when they're on sale. They're good. But, you know, you just got your blessing. You just, you know, got a, a deal. And uh, so you could share that with your clients. Okay. And they like this. Okay, glue dot everything together. And uh, put a bow on top when you're done. Okay, guys, so I hope this helps. I hope this gave you Sorry. Okay, guys, I hope this helps. I hope this gave you some ideas for quick and easy. You know, like I said, if you can't find uh, the actual Victoria's Secret, the same concept, oh, I'm getting hot, applies. Get a, cosm a beautiful cosmetic bag that you can find. Stick that there. And the reason a cosmetic bag, this is something she can put all these items in there. Get a spray mist, body, uh, what is this? Shower gel and a lotion that matches, preferably that matches. And uh, just make your own gift set, okay? Okay guys, so I wanna thank you so much. Let me see here, see if I can hold this. So we have five very affordable
affordable, affordable to buy, and they'll be affordable. You can make these nice and affordable to your clients as well. Okay, so I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate your support. I want to thank all of you guys. Thank, I uh, reached over a thousand, a thousand subscribers. I'm sorry, I was, I was thinking, I said, I am sweating. I need to go get a towel and just cut this video. I said, no, I'm not going to cut it. Okay, but I want to thank you guys all for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. That is awesome. I am so thankful. I love you guys. You are a creative bunch of entrepreneurs, and that's what this is all about. I want to thank you for your support. We want to keep going uh, in your comments. I read all your comments. I respond to all comments. And uh, if you have any suggestions or ideas, please let me know. We, we're, keep, we're going. We're going to keep going, okay? All right. So I want to thank you so much. And I want to say happy Mother's Day to all of my moms out there. And I want to say happy Mother's Day to my mom. I love you. And I'll see you. And hit that like button. If you like this video, if you got some inspiration or ideas, hit the like button. And, and uh Hit the, if you like my vibe, hit subscribe and join the tribe, okay? So you see everything we've done here. We had a strong theme and a color scheme, all right? Thank you so much, guys. See you in my next video. Bye. Bye, Mom.